Good day, students. You are welcome to TPG 1501 module presentation. I trust that you are all well and that you are studying hard to avoid any kind of disappointment. By now, you should all be knowing me. I'm Dr. Maloka, the primary lecturer for this module TPG 1501. The purpose of this presentation is to provide you with the general information related to TPG 1501 and to address some nitty greetings you might be encountering along the way. Firstly, important information that I would like to share with you relates to the following to tutorial letters and placement office reading of study materials or online participation. OK, regarding the tutorial letters and placement office, please, you are all encouraged to read this tutorial letter. That is tutorial letter 102 thoroughly. Everything is well explained and you need to follow the process of applying it. Give some time for the, uh, for the office to process the placement. I have been receiving high amount of emails where students are inquiring about their placement forms. And I have indicated, mentioned several times that anything to do with the placement forms, you must contact the teaching practical office. They are the ones who will be in a position to, uh, to assist you. The contact details of the provincial uh, coordinators are also provided. In many instances, I have attached under the announcement the list of those provincial coordinators. And I have also explained that um, you check according to the province that you are in. So the placement office is in charge of a uh, proof of your placement. It is also responsible. Uh, you can also email to them to the email that reads as follows: teacherprec at unisa.ac.za. That is teacherprec at unisa.ac.za. Once you have proof of pay, uh, of placement, you can start your placement. Remember, assessment one must be submitted as soonest you have the placement and it must be signed by the principal and the school stamp must be added on it. However, I'm still going to talk more about this assessment one because um, it has been granted an extension. It was um, due sometimes in May. I think that was the 20th of May, but now the, it has been granted the, the extension. And then the other things regarding the study materials. Please read the study materials. I have realized that many students are not reading all the study materials, neither, uh, neither the announcement. You need to take note that there are a number of changes in the TPG 150 requirements for 2023. Ignore the announcements at times as as it might jeopardize your studies. Make sure that you participate online and submit the necessary assessment and the portfolios that are still coming on time. And then with this uh, online participation, you need to read the attached guidelines. There are some number of guidelines that I have attached. And please go through them, participate on that. For instance, uh, you need to save the name of your assessment so that it is easily recognized. Many students fail as a result of loading an incorrect document. I'm still repeating this now that uh, please create a folder wherein you put all the materials, all the documents that are related to your module, which is TPG 1501. I'm also urging you to do the same with other modules. In many cases, we have received the incorrect documents and the students will be insisting that indeed I have uh, uploaded the assignment or the exam. Upon opening the particular document that 
got uploaded, we find that it is an incorrect one. Hence, I'm saying that please have a folder knowing that this folder is dealing mainly with the TPG modules. You need to name it correctly. It makes it easier for markers to identify the student number, etc. when looking for a particular document. This will also make your life easier as this will ensure that you have submitted the correct document. Still continuing with this important information, I just want to tap on the assessment feedback. As I've already mentioned, the extension for assess assignment one is the 20th July 2023. So thank you for all those students who have already submitted their assessment one. However, Due to technicalities, we are experiencing uh, technicalities that we are experiencing regarding placement forms. The assessment date, as I've already mentioned, has been um, has been opened up to the 20th July. Please make sure that you don't miss this extension date, as it gives you enough time to put everything together. I have just realized that some students have submitted the assessment forms or the placement forms without the school stamps and signatures of the authorities as at the schools where they are conducting the teaching practicals. Like I said, that there are those who have already submitted. Please make sure that all the documents are having the necessary stamps they are having the necessary uh, signatures of the authorities because a failure to that, you are going to lose marks. I still want to, uh, to reiterate um, on this link that I have previously tapped uh, on it. This link uh, contains the att attendance register on how you need to fill it in. It also contains information on the uh, on giving clarification on the four assessment of this module. Remember that uh, the four assessment, I'm referring to this um, placement form and as well as the assessment form that you are currently busy with at school. Your assessment too, you are going to give us the full uh, feedback of what has been experienced uh, at school. Uh, you will also be having two portfolios that is portfolio 50 and 51. So all those together making, giving us the total of four assessment. Teaching practice days and structure that is also featured in the video that you will be watching and any other module related administration issues. All those you will find in the link. Please have a time to, uh, to watch this as it is going to enlighten you on all the expectations of this teaching practical module. And then uh, once more, you are reminded uh, of the TPG 1501 learning areas as they are projected in them. Remember that uh, from grade R to grade three, the learning areas are the same. So your teaching practical must contain all these learning areas. That will be mathematics for foundation phase teachers, reading in foundation phase, home language teaching, resource development in foundation phase, inclusive education in the foundation phase. So like I said that as you conduct your teaching practical, please uh, tap into all those learning areas. I know that uh, some of the students uh, have the tendency of only uh, conducting the teaching practical with one learning area or two because they might be feeling comfortable with it. You are reminded that um, we will be assessing you with all these learning areas. So, so please make sure that you don't cut corners and attend to them all. And then uh, furthermore, allow me to tap further on assignment two, as you see it projected in them, and it will contain the following info. That is um, the assessment due dates, the assignments, examination portfolios, the addendum as they will be reflected in them, and the assignment two itself, assessment two itself, it also have the principal's report, which must be completed by the principal, the mentor report, which must be completed by the mentor, 
attendance register of student teacher at school, confirmation of teaching practice placement received from the teaching practice office. So as you can see, uh, that is the general uh, info on assessment two. As you can see that a assessment one and as well as assessment two, they both contain 10%. Please make sure that uh, you adhere to all what is stipulated for this assignment. Failure to that, you are not going to have the marks. And remember that this is contributing to your year mark. Assignment one, as I have uh, indicated, that is more to do with a uh, school form details. We need to have those school form details uh, coupled with them uh, with a placement form and they must all be signed by the principal. And then with your assignment two, which I guess is going to be is due on the 1st of October, we, I must have the principal report, the mentor report, the attendance register, proof of placement from TP office, which is sent to you via my life. A my life email. I still want to emphasize the issue of the my life email address. Most of the students are still contacting me with their private emails, of which I have indicated. I have reiterated on this several times that private emails are not attended to. You might also be missing most of the information because when we send out the information, we don't send to your private emails, but rather to your my life email which has been created by the university please make sure that you correspond with us with the relevant uh, email which is the my life email address and then uh, on the requirements once more please watch the video link which also includes a part on on uploading when you upload on um on my unisa you will be aware that um the the the, the the rules and the instructions are there on how you are uploading. Any documentation not at to zero when you upload. That will, uh, what is expected will be the mentor report, attendance register of student teacher at school, confirmation of there is a document we're going to get. Is, and we don't want that. I'm telling you on time, avoid this zero oh, uh, okay maybe to um, emphasize this any kind of discrepancies any kind of academic dishonesty is going to is going to lead to zero percentage and students will face a disciplinary hearing we don't want that please no academic dishonesty will be tolerated and then again uh, as you go through the principal report Make sure that uh, everything is authentic. We don't want the cut and paste of the um, of the school stems or of the signatures. We don't want that. At the bottom there, we need to see the clean stem from the school. We want to see the clean signature of the principal. And should there be some suspicions that this has been forged, unfortunately, we, um, we will take um, the steps for uh, academic dishonesty, and that may exclude you from the module. We don't want that. And then um, the same with the mentor's report. The mentor's report, as you see, it projected them. Please also make it a point that uh, you have the school stamp. Fill in all the necessary um, information on the fields uh, that are provided in there. And you must also fill in the correct Dates, that you have um, started the teaching practice at this particular school from this date to this particular date. So that is also, and they must talk to each other. We don't want to see the stamp indicating because the stamp um, must also be, um, so I know that some of the schools do not have the dates, but the principal can always put the date in. We don't want to see yourself there in 2023, but the school stem say in 2022. That will, is just going to show that um, you have committed some academic dishonesty. And then um, regarding the attendance uh, register, which is one of the key things that you work on, 
and adhere to all rules that are aligned to it. You see, so when you will be submitting, we need something of this nature where the mentor will have signed, you as the student teacher will also have signed providing this, um, the relevant date as to when you have provided the, the, when you have conducted the teaching practicals. So those signatures are very, very important. Once you start to declare that uh, the principals or the mentor did this and that, it must be an authentic thing. We don't want people who will be forgering and giving us the false um, impression that they were at schools, whereas you know that you did not go out for the teaching practicals. Regarding the confirmation of the teaching practical um, placement, as you have received from the teaching practice office, please make it a point that you attach the placement confirmation which you have received after you have submitted the DSAR form to the TPO. This confirmation is sent to your My Life account. Unfortunately, for those who and who have not yet activated My Life account and still uh, operating with a uh, private uh, emails such as the Gmails and the Yahoo mails, you will know. Uh, I know that um, you will be missing this DAAR form because uh, the office is only sending to those who have provided the My Life account email. All students must be placed by the teaching practical office before the commencement of any teaching practice. There are those who are still contacting me, requesting that I must place them. Unfortunately, my duty is only aligned to teaching and learning. And the teaching practicals a office, as it is also emphasized in your tutorial letter 102, they are the ones who are responsible for placing you. So I'm just begging you, I'm requesting that you please do not send me the emails where you request me to, to place you. It does not fall within my jurisdiction, but instead uh, to that of the teaching practicals office. The placement office details are in the tutorial letter uh, 102. So for any information that you need regarding teaching practicals uh, information, please refer to teaching practicals uh, 102. Uh, okay. Before that, um, uh, okay. So this is leading us to the end of my presentation. I take it that everything is well attended to. This is just most of the information that I'm sharing in here is the repetition that I have said when I am um, when I welcome you on this module. I've been sending a lot of information on my uh, announcement wherein I expect you to be opening up uh, your announcement on a daily basis. On the discussion forums, I do send you the information, but I could see that very few of you do visit that. I have emphasized that at least twice or thrice a week, make sure that you participate on the discussion forum. So if you have any kind of clarification that you need, please send it through my emails. There, there's also an, um, my office number in the tutorial letters. Make sure that you phone me uh, between the working hours. That will be between 8 o'clock and 4 o'clock in the afternoon. There you will find me. And in case you don't find me, you can always send me an email and I will revert to you. So I, I'm not leaving you alone. I'm leaving you with this quote. It says, I read, I quote it, close quote or open quote, optimism is the faith that leads to achievement. Nothing can be done without hope and confidence, close quote by Helen Keller. So with that said, I furthermore add on by saying, believe in yourself and you will overcome all obstacles. I'm urging you to do your work way on time. Where you need some clarifications, we are available. Please make it a point that you don't miss anything. We are there for you. Thank you so much and wishing you all the best. Okay, thank you.